Okay, so we're just going to think about the graphs of some of the hyperbolic functions then, and we'll start with cosh x, which uh, is e to the x plus e to the minus x uh, divided by 2. This is uh, reasonably easy to graph because um, if we uh, look at uh, the graphs of e to the x, so um, here's the graph of e, e to the x here, um, and also the graph of y equals e to the minus x, which is the reflection in the y-axis of e to the x, or this one here, um, it's e to the x plus e to the minus x divided by 2, so essentially what that means is take the average of e to the x and e to the minus x, add them together and divide by uh, and divide by 2. So a purple graph is the graph of cosh x, and you can see it lies sort of halfway between uh, e to the x and e to the minus x as at any given point. Here at 1, where there's two intersect, it's just 1 plus 1 divided by 2, which is 1, um, and everywhere else it's, it's midway between. Uh, we can see it's an even function that has a, a line of symmetry in the y-axis, just like uh, cos x does. That's also, um, if I just uh, add that in as well, uh, you know, that's also got that property of being an even function, a line of symmetry in the y-axis. The next one to think about then is shine x, that's e to the x minus e to the minus x divided by 2. So this time we're taking uh, e to the x uh, and subtracting e to the minus x, and then uh, dividing by 2. Um, and what you get is this purple line here, which is shine of x. You can see that, um, so I'm doing this one minus this one, so... Uh, for very large values over here, the thing we're subtracting is very small, um, so this graph looks you know, very, quite similar to this one, the, the larger the values you get. And similarly when we come down uh, this way, I've still got this one minus this one, but basically this one becomes very small and it's basically just sort of minus, uh, minus this one. Um, at zero we've got the only axis crossing point, uh, which is um, you know, I'm subtracting one from the other, so when they intersect, uh, that's going to be zero. And we can see that, like sine of x, uh, this is an odd function. So, um, you know, in the sense that it's got a uh, property that sine of minus x is minus sine of x, in the same way as for sine, and we've got sine of x is is minus a uh, sine of minus x. So um, that odd and evenness has been preserved for both sine and cos there into sine and uh, cosh. The next one to think about then is tanch. Um, tanch is shine over cosh, remember, and we've written it in its exponential form like this. Uh, actually, two useful exponential forms of tanch. One is once we've, once we've got to this stage by dividing this by this and cancelling the 2s, um, if I multiply it by e to the x, I get e to the 2x minus 1 over e to the 2x plus 1, as in the last video. Or I could also instead multiply it by e to the minus x and get this alternative form. So this e to the x times e to the minus x becomes 1, and this multiply by e to the minus x becomes e to the e to the minus 2x, so we get 1 minus e to the minus 2x over uh, 1 plus e to the minus 2x, doing the same to the uh, denominator. Um, let's start by just seeing if there are any axis crossing points. You can see if you put x equals 0 um, in here, you would get 1 minus e to the 0, so that would be 1 minus 1, that would be 0 on top, divided by 1 plus e to the 0, uh, which would be 2, so we'd get a 0 there. So it does this graph does go through the does go through the origin, of course, where shine is zero, uh, at zero, um, cosh isn't, so it does go through this point, and that is the only axis crossing point. Obviously, um, so if I put x equals zero, that's all I get. But also, if I tried to get y equals zero, I would need the I would need the um, numerator here to be zero. So I'd have to have I'd have, to have one minus e to the minus two uh, x is zero, or you could say e to the two x minus one is zero if you use that one instead. Um, but either way, uh, you know, we're going to um, find that the only solution is at x equals 0, uh, y equals 0. Um, if you like, I get 1 equals e to the minus 2x. The only way to get this uh, to be 1 is for minus 2x to be 0, so x is x is 0. So that is the only crossing point. Um, and now, if we just look at what happens when x gets very large or very small now, well, let's say if I wanted to make uh, x very large, if I said, let's say what happens when x tends to um, infinity, if you look at this uh, definition, well, uh, e to the minus 2x for a very large value of x, that's the same as 1 over e to the 2x, so a very large value of x, this is going to go to 0. So actually, when x goes to plus infinity, this term you know goes to 0 and this term goes to 0, so uh, it asymptotes uh, at at a plus 1, 
uh, somewhere up here. And similarly, if I look at x tends to minus infinity, uh, then in this form, um, e to the 2x, well, if it's, if it's x is negative, again, this is going to be like 1 over e to the 2x, um, and these terms are going to go to 0, and so it'll go to, uh, go to, go to minus 1. So uh, for very large negative values, it comes in like this, and overall, the graph looks uh, something like uh, looks something like that. Then I'll do it a bit more accurately on the. Um, on the and there it is. That's y equals uh, tanh uh, x. And um, we looked at uh, sine and uh, cos in terms of their odd and even functions. Here I've put uh, compared to sine and cos. Here I've put tan on alongside tanh. And again, you can see these are both uh, odd functions in that for negative values they're just minus their equivalent positive value. So again, the oddness of this function has been preserved uh, when we've changed it from an ordinary tan to a hyperbolic tan. Let's just look at a couple more. So here I've got a y equals cosh x again, and what I've drawn underneath it is y equals a sech of x, which is 1 divided by a cosh of x. You can see that's what it looks like. You know, uh, here, 1 divided by 1 is 1, so it's they're equal at that point. Um, but as uh, cosh gets larger, uh, 1 over cosh gets smaller and goes off to 0, um, so we get that shape there, another even function. Here we've got uh, shine, the red graph, y equals shine x, and the blue one is y equals cosh x, which is 1 divided by shine uh, of x. You can see uh, where, where shine is 0 here, 1 divided by uh, 0 is not defined, so cosh isn't defined at that point. Um, when shine is 1 um, or, or minus 1, the reciprocals are also 1 and minus 1, so they uh, be equal at those points, and then as uh, shine gets close to 0 um, in, in this area here, uh, cosh gets very large, positive or negative, and uh, when shine gets very large, uh, cosh gets very small, goes off to uh, 0. And finally, if we compare uh, tanh to koth, well tanh is this red graph and koth is the blue one um, and uh, so koth is 1 over tanh you can see they kind of merge over here because tanh is getting closer and closer to 1 so 1 divided by it is also getting closer and closer to 1 so they both asymptote off here to uh, to 1 and to minus 1 um, and again it's 0 here um, it, tanh is 0 so uh, koth has to be undefined um, and it's very large and positive and negative either side where this is really tiny um, and then as you say it's off to 1 or minus 1 at each side so there we go, that's the graphs of um, shine, cosh and tanh and their reciprocal functions uh, sech, cosh and koth